So in this example, we are asked to determine if the following vector field is conservative. And looking at our given vector field here, we see that vector f is in R2. So let's begin by reminding ourselves that a vector field in R2 is conservative when the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of g with respect to x. And remember, this is because the partial derivative of phi with respect to xy is equal to the partial derivative of phi with respect to yx because order doesn't matter. So we need to find our partial derivatives here. So I'm going to rewrite my ve given vector field here in its component form. So we can see what are f and or what is f and what is g. So f here is 2x times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus x squared y times the natural exponential raised to the xy. And our g component is x cubed times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus 2y. And so we're ready to go ahead and find the partial derivatives. So starting with f, which again is just 2x times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus x squared y times the natural exponential raised to the xy. We want to differentiate here with respect to y. So what I'm going to do to avoid... Well, actually, you could differentiate like this. I'm going to pull out my natural exponential raised to the xy and have this multiplied by 2x plus x squared y. And so we want to again differentiate this with respect to y. So we need a product rule. So this gives us x times the natural exponential raised to the xy multiplied by 2x plus x squared y plus the natural exponential raised to the xy multiplied by x squared. And so we can simplify this a little bit. If we actually redistribute this natural exponential here to both terms, we end up with 2x squared times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus x cubed y times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus x squared times the natural exponential raised to the xy. And we have two like terms that we can combine for a beautiful final answer of 3x cubed, or excuse me, 3x squared times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus x cubed y times the natural exponential raised to the xy. And so this is the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And so our goal is to show that this is equivalent to the partial derivative of g with respect to x. So g, our g component here is x cubed times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus 2y. And we're ready now to find the partial derivative of g with respect to x. And again, we need a product rule. So this gives us 3x squared times the natural exponential raised to the xy plus x cubed multiplied by y times the natural exponential raised to the xy. And we're excited because we can see, hey, they are equivalent. We can see the partial derivative of f with respect to y is the same as the partial derivative of g with respect to x. So we can conclude that therefore, since the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of g with respect to x, our vector field is conservative. The end.